Seabass, put in the techno. Put in the porn techno right now. Vlog yesterday, a little chaotic. Apologies. I drank uh, copious amounts of caffeine and then try to act the fool to entertain you. We were in the middle of a photo shoot and things had just been so rushed. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but like apparel, cotton, everything is just so backlogged in the entire world. There's kind of a shortage. And so, holiday season, um, and because I want to make like high quality, unique products, not just a T with, with my logo on it. It's been very difficult to say the least. I've, I've gotten quite a few gray hairs from this process. And obviously I'm still kind of new. I've been in the game for a very long time, but handling every step of the way by myself. Um, and I have good resources, but it's just a lot. It's a lot, and considering the shortage, it makes it very difficult. So a lot of pivoting, a lot of kind of wiggling around with my vision, um, and a billion steps to make it come, but we're live. So quick photo shoot to get those up. It was the quickest turnaround we could. Um, everything's been delayed, so we didn't want to delay it more. 3sb.co, check it out. Today we got a uh, deadlift day, so I'll probably try to go ham on some, on some snatch grip. Um, Pull bicep cardio. I've been slacking on the cardio a little bit. So we'll tr make sure to do that. The boys will be here. I think Dan will be able to train. Dan's been grinding really hard with his job. So um, we've been just catching training when we can. But I think we got it today. So little workout. Check it out. Beanies. My favorite t-shirt to date by far. Oversized fit. Heavy. Comfy. Durable. Um, thermal. We're bringing them back. I don't know if they've been gone or if they're been back. But I love a nice baggy thermal. Um, one crew neck hoodie or crew neck sweatshirt uh, and then a bunch of styling beanies the color palette on this is <laughs> chef's kiss as the kids say I'll catch you on the deadlifts for you fam that was a uh, regular push day felt pretty good actually i think i recorded on here i missed on my phone but 4 495 on some triple snatch grip game that's pretty hard for me um that ain't light now i'm not at my strongest right now but that's like that's moving that's pretty moving um talked last time about kind of the balance and things in my life and how I figure some of that out. I, I don't want to ramble at y'all too much, but uh, I did take a break. So that's why we're not like peaked peaked. I took a year long break when, when COVID hit and we were building this gym and I didn't have somewhere to train and all that. I literally a year and the mental health was rough. 2018, 19, 20, those three years. And, and it's still a battle, but I'm moving, you know, I'm moving and shaking now. At least we're faking it till we make it. It is what it is. 
I just threw all those phrases out because they all suck. I was gonna keep going, but I couldn't think of any. Um, but recently, I took another little break, just like a two or three day bang or two three week banger, because I mean it's just repetitive for me. I know a lot of you guys are really passionate about training and passionate about fitness, which is awesome. Whether it's learning or it's like your escape. Not that I'm not passionate. I obviously spent you know 20, 20 years of my life learning and lifting and, and want to get better. But a lot of it is always because of something else. It's always to be better at basketball. It's always to teach and educate and train and help you guys or, or my in-person clients or my online clients or Kaizen or podcasts to share information and entertainment. Um, it's always to lead a team. It's always to, sure, get stronger on my own. But for me, it's, you know, it's waking up, taking a poopy, tying my shoes, brushing my teeth, taking a shower. Lifting weights is that to me. Uh, I've never had an end goal of like competing or being the world's best or being strongest. And that's why many times I've said I'm not a power lifter. Not, not because I want to push myself away from powerlifting or say, you know, it's just not what I am. It's not what's in my heart. My, what's in my heart is to educate and entertain as many people as I can because um, those people want to get better and they've been in dark places. I've been in dark places. I know what it's like. So if I can help, I want to help. And sometimes I just get so bored on this hamster wheel. So I took a couple weeks off. I just wasn't training. I wasn't in the best mental space, but I just didn't want to lift. I didn't want to touch a barbell. So I started riding my bike more. Um, now we winter time we're kind of back in the groove and that's why my split we talked about in the last video be sure to check that out turn on notifications subscribe um we talk about my split and like my it, it doesn't always have to make like most optimal sense because people are like well when do you do legs i don't do legs right now my deadlift hamstrings booty and i do cardio but i don't want to squat so i don't squat i don't have these powerlifting goals i my goal is to be healthy to lead and this is just part of my daily routine and that's where we are right now uh, i might stop lifting again I'm always going to be an athlete. I'm always going to want to be healthy. I want to train for health and fitness, but I don't have direct goals. So, you know, I'm not following the program. I'm not following the exact, you know, daily undulating periodization that I should. I'm, I might be overshooting or undershooting my goals or my volume or my intensity every day. It's just part of my grind. Uh, it's just part of the grind right now. I, I need to, I need to keep my businesses moving during these hard times. I need to keep my family moving. I need to keep myself and my brain healthy and moving. Um, and more importantly, I just want to be healthy and want to try to enjoy the process, which is literally what I'm the worst at on this entire planet. I'm 33. I literally felt like I went to bed and I was 17 last night. And all of a sudden I'm 33 going on 34. You know, life moves, man. Life really moves and you can't slow it down. And I need to slow it down and appreciate all this a little bit more, all this that I've um, worked for. And so I'm, I'm trying to do that. So I may stop lifting, I may not, but right now we're grinding. No, no, no meat in sight, no body weight goal in sight. I want to be healthy. I want to keep grinding. I appreciate you guys. 3sb.co, snag it, man. Honestly, my favorite drop yet. This in the in the in the mustard shirt are fuego. I love them. I love them. I'm gonna live in them, uh, and I hope you enjoy it too, man. I appreciate you guys for everything. Catch you in the next one.